Today we're in Berkeley Heights at a New Jersey institution. We're at Goodman's Deli. John, thanks so much for joining us today. Goodman's has been in Berkeley Heights for 20 years and in, in New Jersey for over 75 years. Obviously, it's just unbelievable brand and great food. Can we start off with the real core of the Goodman's Deli, which is corned beef pastrami? What makes it so special? Yeah, you know, the Goodman's uh, provided me with a legacy that was really a high bar for me to maintain. When I grew up eating corned beef and pastrami in Chicago, you know, there's just a certain expectation when you walk in, a certain smell you were expecting, a certain taste in your mouth. When I moved to Berkeley Heights and came here to eat for the first time, um, I had been away from Chicago for a while. And it was so nice to get that, you know, that flavor, that moistness, that just everything was perfect when I came in here. Uh, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to buy it and take it over. So keeping the corned beef, pastrami, and the brisket, um, you know, keeping that bar high is the thing I strive to do every day. Um, with that, there's just the right blend of seasoning, uh, the right amount of cooking time, really getting my provisions from the right supplier. And just making sure that my staff cooks it right, slices it right, trims it right, and delivers a great tasting sandwich every time. That's, uh, that's why I get out of bed every morning. And it's really worked for us. It has the recipe changed much over time? You know, slightly. You know, the Goodmans had their providers and their recipes, which were slightly modified um, when, uh, when, their cook took it over in the 80s. Um, I didn't change that much when I came on board 10 years ago, but I did bring in some of my family recipes and I did alter the recipes to add some more unique traditional Jewish elements to the food. For example, our potato pancakes here are out of this world. I don't think anyone around here can come close to what we do. But the recipe when I came over here included flour. And I got rid of the flour right away and substituted it for matzo meal. Just those little nuances can really make a difference in the consistency and the flavor of the food. So, you know, we've tweaked things over, over time, but uh, one of the key differentiators here, I think at Goodman's, is we make food. You know, we're not purchasing food and reheating it. We're not microwaving it. Uh, we're not just taking it out of a package and plating it and serving it. Uh, about 70 to 85% of my menu here is cooked from scratch. So when I go shopping, I'm not buying packaged food that we bring here and serve. I'm buying ingredients that we cook. So having a really good staff here that knows what to do and knows how to make these recipes just... When you walk in the door here, that's what everyone says, how great it smells here, because we're cooking food. When you grew up in Chicago and you brought with it Chicago hot dogs, can you talk about your passion for hot, the Chicago hot dog? Yeah. Uh, I spent 42 years in Chicago. And in 2002, yeah, 2002, I moved to Colorado. And that was my first time being away from the foods I grew up on. And every now and then you'd see a place that sold Chicago style hot dogs or Chicago style pizza. It was never the same. So I really started missing those foods that I grew up on. Uh, when I came to Goodman's for the first time, that's when I started, you know, getting the flavor, at least the Chicago type deli or New York style deli uh, that I was accustomed to. But I still miss those hot dogs and I still miss those Italian beef sandwiches. And I didn't want to pay the high price of Gold Belly or uh, Lumanati's ships that type of stuff out. So I started bringing it in here. And it really is a passion because it's a pain to get this stuff. I have to drive down to Philadelphia once a month 
there's a distributor down there that brings in the authentic product from Chicago. And then I have to store it, and then we have to freeze it, and then I have to bring it back to life. And I think one of my one one things I'm very proud about with Goodman's in introducing those items here is people that know Chicago food come in here and tell me how authentic it is that it's the closest thing to a Chicago hot dog outside of Chicago that they've had. I get that kind of feedback consistently, so it really makes me glad that I've accomplished that. Yeah, it sounds like you're doing an amazing job. And at dinner, what are some of the popular dishes at Goodman's? Well, you know, we really carry on that New Jersey diner feel. So there's a, a, a lot of our menu is um, typical diner menu. So burgers and salads. One of the changes I made here is to keep the Jewish deli element of Goodman strong. I wanted to introduce some typical Jewish Eastern European dishes. So I added beef goulash, beef stroganoff, and chicken paprikash to the menu. And those have become very popular. In. And what about breakfast? I saw that you have the homage to the original owners. You have the Irv and Julie breakfast special. Can you talk about that? Yeah, I don't know if Irv and Julie ever ate that in their lives, but I did want to give homage to the guys that helped start this business going. Actually, it was their parents that started the Goodmans in 1943 in Elizabeth. I think they started in Elizabeth. I have heard a story that they started it somewhere else and brought it to Elizabeth. I need to do some fact checking on that. But yeah, it was the Goodman's family that started it. I wanted to give them a little credit. If you study the menu, you'll, you'll see my dad's name and my mom's name just to give them credit for helping bring me into this world. But uh, typical New Jersey diner style breakfast all day. Our omelets here are phenomenal. Our pancakes are incredible. So we serve those orders all day long, and as well as the pork roll egg and cheese, sausage egg and cheese. We have some really good quality providers that give us ingredients. Like our bacon is really good bacon. Our pork is really good pork sausage. I really look for bringing the best products I can bring to the table here. And Goodman's has been in Berkeley Heights for 20 years. How does Goodman's give back to the local community? I really, really appreciate the community. The community has done so much for us. When I took over 10 years ago, um, I got a lot of feedback from not only Berkeley Heights, but Union County recognized me for the attention that I gave Union County from bringing people from all over. There was people coming up from Maryland to eat here, people coming in from the Poconos to get their holiday orders fulfilled. But I really believe in giving back to Berkeley Heights because that's the core of our customer base. So as you know, there's always tricky trades going on. There's always fundraisers. There's always charitable organizations. So from sports teams to the schools, to religious organizations, to the community events like the Fun Run, uh, I'm sorry, the Berkeley Heights 5K that Dr. Smith runs every year. Uh, I really make sure that I, there are very few fundraising opportunities that I pass on. I really believe in giving back. Well, thanks so much to Don for sharing the Goodman story. Definitely come out to Berkeley Heights to try the pastrami, corned beef, and Chicago hot dogs. Yeah, and don't really forget anything. the brisket. Yeah, brisket. Uh, right now, definitely come for the takeout or delivery, and hopefully the dining room will be opening up soon. Remember to buy local, create stronger communities. Also, if you like this video, share it, and also visit buylocalnj.com.